right, in this video, we're gonna be telling you all the details on the new hype ball on the market, the Absolute Power. All right, so we have a new storm bowling ball. Holy cow. What do they call this, the NBS? What does that stand for? NBS, the Nutter Butter. The New Ball Syndrome. New Ball Syndrome. Come on, man. Or the King Daddy, as the kids like to say. Or the you know King what? Daddy. I don't think there's any kids out there saying that. No, but we have the Absolute Power, baby. So this is the second rendition in the Absolute line, correct? Yep. So the other one was just the Absolute. Just the Absolute. I was trying absolute. to think of the other, if they had a second name, but it's just the Absolute. It's just the Absolute. So now we have the Absolute plus power. And we have some power with the Absolute. <laughs> Sentinel Core, they came up with the Sentinel Core, put in the Absolute. It's the only ball it's been in so far. So now this is the second ball that the Core has been in. Uh, new cover. So the first cover on the Absolute was the R2S Deep Hybrid. A little cleaner cover. This one is called the R2S Deep Solid. So it's basically an Absolute. If you're a person out there that liked the Absolute, like a Stu Williams, this is going to be. He did just, like the Absolute. He did. He loved the Apollo. But this is going to be earlier. It's a stronger, stronger cover on it. And so, uh, yeah, we're just going to see what it's about. All right, so first shot. First shot off the press, actually. House shot, THS, typical house shot, 17 and a half to one. Ooh, buddy. That was we, not uh, only the first shot with that ball, that was his first, first shot, shot of the day. <laughs> and uh, Wait, What's with you and the acronyms this morning? What's that? THS. I don't know. Yeah. It's, like, it's on the it's new. I know, I'm like, dude, you're throwing NBS. me off here. I'm like, I'm, dude, I have to do like, feel like I'm doing quick math in my head for this video. Here. All right, I gotta feel that again because that's Still not... a better one here. All right, first shot with the absolute. It's clean. All right. A little smooth. Kind of smooth. Kind of smooth out of the box. I'm gonna throw mine. All right. I have, I elected to go with a uh, standard pinup layout for mine. Uh, this is uh, like pin above middle finger. It's like five and a quarter inches away from my pat. I like to put this on pretty much every ball when I drill it. And then, especially a ball that's supposed to be like really, really good, like this absolute power, I'm just putting my favorite layout on it. Not thinking about it, just putting my favorite layout on it. So let's see what mine does. So even though it's a solid what cover stock, what I'm noticing right now is it's still a little clean compared to like some of the other newer ASIMs. Yeah. It has a 4,000 finish on it, so not very gritty at all. Yeah, and the one before the Absolute kind of came uh, kind of polished. But you're right, I am kind of seeing this. It's not really over responding in the mid lane like a gem would or some really strong in which I've got a ball that we're going to test it. But so far, it's uh, not a massive hook monster. All right, you can do that one a little better. That's pretty good. Wow, this thing is really controllable. Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of times we get these strong ASIMs and they come at like 500, 100, or 500, 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, which from the factory is strong. Yeah. Like, it's very strong, but this is 4,000. Yep. I think you can even notice like when you get this ball, it's it's not very gritty, so it looks like 4,000 to me. But uh, yeah, nothing too crazy, very controllable. Give it more revs, see what it does. Ooh. All right, ball knows how to hook. Yeah, so I drilled mine pinned down. I've kind of been, the past couple of years, taking kind of the stronger ASIM balls and drilling them pinned down. Now, it's probably pretty similar for you and me. When we go with a pinned down layout, it kind of mm. tightens the flare rings a little bit. It kind of limits the total amount of flare yeah. it has on the ball, which kind of creates a little more forward shape. Now. Kyle's is actually, now do you always go pin above like the middle? Do you always cross over the midline? Yeah, normally, I like that layout And that's because just naturally, you get a lot of flare off your hand, like you have a heavy roll. Exactly, a heavy roll, ball likes to read early and giving, the, when I put the pin over my middle finger, it just increases that pin to pap distance, which helps me get my ball down the lane. Get some length. Get some length. Yeah, kind of interesting ball here. Grabbing with the low flare potential layout on the high flare potential ball. <laughs> yep. All right, so. A little slick in there, bud. Yeah, but honestly, it's a 248050, so it's got some strong numbers. And when you have a strong core like that, it can overflare, it can roll out. And this one's kind of 
We're seeing a little bit of skid in this ball. It's yeah. like preserving a little bit of energy. I think it is preserving a little bit of energy. I think we need to get some, get lined up on the hot shot here. Dude, it's kind of fun ball on a hot shot. It's like, you never get the ball on too much. So, it's like a free hook everywhere. Oh, I'm throwing that terrible. <laughs> The that hits was just awesome. keep on coming, baby. I thought that one was gonna just jackknife. I didn't think back. it was gonna jackknife too, but definitely seeing some length out of this ball. Let's keep throwing some shots. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna square up a little bit. Let's see what happens. All right. Man, the half tens are falling. Let's see if I can actually throw one good. Ooh, a little bit of angle there. We got that that NBC. New ball carry. New ball carry. My guy yes. is on it today. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's... I kind of like this. <laughs> Rolling the up 10 dumper line. I want to do that. So my strat on a lot of house shots is to just rifle it up around 10, not really trying to be too accurate, and see if the ball does the right thing. So I'm going to throw it hard up 10. Oh, Kyle. Wow. Again, not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> we'll redo that one. See, that's what I was trying to do. Dang. That's what I was trying to do. Ooh, there you go. That's what I like to do on house So shots. far, I'm kind of seeing some versatility out of this. Yeah, you know, it's uh, as far as using it on the fresh, I can see it on the fresh when we're having to like shape it a little bit on the fresh, if that makes sense. A little left to right action. As far as going up the lane, it's pretty clean. Like, I don't see it getting into a roll too early unless you knock it with some surface or something. Yeah, it's, uh, and I would say the absolute was, it wasn't really meant to be like a super kind of weaker ball, but the, the cover was so clean that when we were into some asymmetrics, that was kind of the lower of the bunch. It was kind of the weakest. Yeah, it was clean. It Got was through clean. lane, more down lane. And so this is gonna be a step up from that. It's gonna read the mid lane a little more, allowing a little bit more versatility, allowing some games on the fresh. I'm gonna make a big move left here. Ooh, you read my mind. Oh, that's gotta push. <laughs> All right, create some angle. That's what I was gonna do. I was create gonna see. some angle. Let's let the big dog eat and see All what right. it gets. Let the big dog eat. Hey, that should be a t-shirt. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> Woo! All right, so the ball can go left. So if you're looking for a ball that goes left, <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, it's been a while since you've thrown that good. That was good. That was really good. Oh, he's trying to do it. Not All bad, right. not bad. So now you guys have seen some shots with the uh, absolute power. I have an eternity pie here, laid it out exactly the same. I was really excited for this ball. It's been a great ball in my bag. Asim as well. And again, I just put my favorite layout on it. So. Ball's laid out exactly the same. Let's go back to kind of in the middle of where we were throwing and compare the two. A lot more hook on that one. A lot more hook. Felt earlier a little. Yeah. And I mean, it's a house shot, so a lot of things are gonna react, but just felt a little more overall hook on that ball compared to the other one. Which that Eternity Pie, I mean, you have a fresh one here. I got a fresh one. This surface on this, we can already see, is way stronger. It's a lot yeah. duller than it is on the Absolute Power. Yeah, so just natural, because of the surface on it, this thing's gonna read the lane, or try to read the lane. Hey, so they get to see the fresh Eternity Pie? Oh yeah. Right. Holy cow. <laughs> Yeah, look at the difference that of thing. those two out of the box. Woo. Yeah, like it was it was wanting to go left and hook from the moment you laid it down on the foul line. Yeah, and you saw that ball kind of go straight in the bag and the service that it has on the ball out of the box, that makes it just front to back, more controllable. Way, more way stronger. Boom. Well, spare fingers. What's nice about uh, testing it with this ball is I feel like if we're throwing asymmetric balls and we're liking this one, if we need to ball down or go down to a weaker one, that's this is actually like a real life uh, adjustment because this cover is so much stronger. So. Nice. 
Yeah, since we're doing the comparison, I'm gonna stand in this. I just tripped a 410 with the Eternity Pie, so now I'm going to uh, stay in the same place, see what the Absolute does from the same spot. Dang. Definitely doesn't want to like kick off the mid lane, like as strong in the mid lane as the other one. So that one gave me just a touch more length down lane. I feel like I can even be a touch more aggressive with that ball and it's not going to overhook. It's not going to overhook. That's nice. So we talk about that control, right? And that's something we look for a lot. If we grab it, if we miss it, does it Which want, happens. Does it still give us control or does it want to you know, make us feel like we don't have control? So far, this combination of the Sentinel core and the cover stock, the solid cover stock, definitely gives us a little more balance and a little more versatility than the original, than the original one for sure. I'm gonna go back to it. All right, where do you want me to play? All right, I say we uh, cap this off with a 9th, 10th frame roll off. Okay. So let's, since you like playing straight and I don't, I have to throw the 10th from straight and you have to start from straight. Okay. And then the next one will be 4th arrow. All right. And then I'll, I'll, I'll start at 4th arrow. All right. A little competition. <laughs> Oh, he Ooh. liked it. He liked it. A little left, but I got the touch. You have the touch. The touch. And you're going on a 17 to 1 house shot, so <laughs> there is that. Wow. Oh, NFB? I still don't know. NFB? <laughs> New. <laughs> uh, favorite ball? Favorite ball. <laughs> All right, now I gotta play that line. I now you gotta play in. I still don't know how you do that. Welcome to my world. Oh, that's, oh, that's so not good. terrible. Oh, man. I am just so good. Nutter butter. You're messing with the best. It's in frame? Yeah, we do, should we do should all? Should we do them? Yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. All right. You guys wanna see more shots, right? I wanna see more shots. Now, question is can I repeat that? And if I don't, does the ball make it seem like I do? <laughs> Oh, oh no. that's gotta I get know, a lot of help. Oh, NBC, new ball carry. NBC, baby. All right, so that's three. What should I do? Should I miss on purpose to give you a chance? No. Or should I lock you out? Just try to lock me out. <laughs> I dare you. I've seen those two shots. This absolute power has got to be a really good ball if it makes you strike three <laughs> times from out there. Oh, oh that's so left. slow. Oh, and he All gets right. six. So it doesn't give me the 10 back reaction when I miss like 10 mile an hour slow or yeah. elbow it left. And it does have its limitations. <laughs> I'm gonna play him for the right than Brad was. Oh no, Kyle. Oh, buddy. I don't have the touch yet. A little lamped up. The hooking, the hooking hand is in play today. The straight hand. We got a little hang right there. There's a little hang right. <laughs> you sure it's 17 to one? <laughs> All right, spare for, oh, we don't get to no shoot spares. spares. Well, I got to redeem myself. Yeah, I'll try that again. Because at this point, this is just ridiculous. Ooh. All right, it's not for me today. <laughs> You know, we talk about playing on house shots. Sometimes you hook them, sometimes you play straight. <laughs> you can straight. see which one I would choose. <laughs> All right, so these are our thoughts. It is a stronger ball than the original Absolute. This is gonna be a middle of the road ball. So in terms of symmetrics, we would consider that ball a phase two, yep. maybe even a summit of some sort. But uh, on the asymmetric side, I'd say this is dead middle. Um, you can hit it with surface and throw it on some longer, heavy oil stuff. You can kind of polish it up and throw it on some more hook. And uh, if you need some more slide, you can kind of do whatever you want to it if the kind of ball you're liking is the asymmetric. Yeah, the numbers are 248RG050 diff, nothing crazy going on there. 4000 grit out of the box, so it comes a little shiny. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a ball to where, you know, house shot's gonna be a viable option, of course. I like it because the 4000 grit allows you to use it later on in the day, so it has the asymmetry that, you know, is a little stronger. You can maybe use it on the fresh, but then as the lanes transition, the cover stock's gonna give you length, so you can keep throwing it throughout the day. Yeah, and I just thought maybe uh, my straight game was a little better because mine's pinned down, you think? If you could be. pinned down, it would have uh, froze a little It better. could be. I do like throwing the pinned down balls Straight, on definitely. straighter, for sure. It gives me a little more hold, gives me a reaction I like. But yeah. maybe that's why. Mine looked better Sorry. hooking it because it was pinned up. Maybe next time, buddy. Just Feels good to be the champ. Like 0 and 17 against you <laughs> on challenges. But uh, yeah, absolute power, guys. Uh, Go get you one. Go to your local pro shop and get you one. Yeah, or if you liked us watching it and that's good enough for you, then <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs>